You are all well and um, enjoying your day, your night, uh, your afternoon, wherever you are. Today's subject is about it being a new year. So how about let's breaking out a new you. After we've discussed that, had some questions, then we're going to have our Q&A, and I look forward to answering your questions at that time. Okay, I just want to make sure that everything's working here. Uh, if you are on, could you just give me a thumbs up just so I know you're there. In the meantime, let's get in a smart, easy way. So for, uh, for, for your, your keeping it simple, your products and your tools are really important. Uh, and the ones that are recommended on this channel will definitely keep it simple, cost-effective, time-efficient, and eco-responsible. Now, the tools you use are really important too. Don't need a lot of them. But one of the things I think... Uh, that should be included in your arsenal of tools is taking selfies, your smartphone. You know, that is one of the best ways to help keep you on track. When you've had a practice session, take a selfie and, and get used to seeing the reversed image of yourself because it will really help a lot. Uh, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later on. Tools are nothing more than the products you, you not, no, not the products you use, but what you contain your products in and your brushes and sponges. You don't need a lot, just need a little bit. But again, on this channel, uh, you know, I, I show you exactly how to do that. And less truly is more when it comes to tools and products. Uh, it gives you more room in your makeup drawer, more time with having to use less stuff, uh, it, more, uh, it's easier for you, more simple, uh, and when you're organized with fewer things, you can organize better, and it simply makes you feel so much better. All right, so let's take a look at effectiveness. One of the, the main things that's good to watch on this channel is um, uh, 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 it's a video series of four called The Four Cornerstones of Great Makeup. And what, what they are essentially, and I, and I will, where is it? No, it's that way. I'll put the link up uh, or the link up for you up here afterwards. But basically what it is, is it's, it's even skin tone, number one on the hit parade. And properly shaped and filled in brows, strengthened lash line, and corrected lips that with, as we age and as we have gray, salt and pepper, white hair, whatever we have, a, a stronger color with a little more intensity just brings back that oomph, that contrast that we're uh, looking for. So those are the things, even skin tone, reshaped brows, strengthened lash line, and corrected lips. It's simple. It's it's just four cornerstones. That's all that anybody has to think about. Um, and um, and I endorse 
too. When we think about what watching, you know, makeovers and things like that on some of the shows, um, think about ma- doing it as a, from a make better rather than a make over approach, uh, because makeovers are simply aimed to overdo and to confuse. So women will rely on the beauty industry to help them uh, with this manufactured mystery. Make Betters, however, simply uses little tweaks for big effects, truly, and that reveal the real you and the very best of you. Uh, and it, it, it And it's cost effective, it's time efficient, and it's successful. So, you know, that's, I think, a, a, a better way to look at it, at least in my opinion. Now, the next thing is practicing, practicing, practicing. Practicing 20 minutes every day, you'll hit your goal. Reassess every six months to stay on track. Believe me, I do. I reassess, and when something's shifting, dropping, moving somehow, I sometimes will take even a couple of weeks to kind of get it right. Now, I also use my video camera because when you are moving, it also shows your facial structure, how your muscles move, when you smile, how it is, all those sorts of things. So taking videos is is one step up from taking selfies. Uh, I, I, I think that... Um, that that really helps a lot. So a little bit every day, 20 minutes out of a day isn't very much. And practice the right way. Don't practice the wrong way. Because whatever you practice, you'll get good at. And if you're practicing it wrong, you'll get really good at doing it wrong. Does that make sense? So that's why selfies are really important. Or if you're on a, you know, uh, with someone like myself on my public page or my going gray and loving it page where there's lots of coaching going on, uh, you know, you can help post your pick and let me see how it's doing. And this is something that's really important that oftentimes we tend to forget. Talent is only 10% of anything. Practice is 90%. I can remember having this uh, discussion with my uncle when I was younger, probably in my in my teens, some somewhere in my teens, and he was he was he was an artist. Uh, he he's got totem poles across Canada. He's got stuff in museums. He he works with every kind of medium you can possibly think of. And I can remember when he was first working with moving. Uh, 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 making his own homemade movies with moving little dogs, you know, one frame at a time. Anyway, the man was very talented and involved in a number of things. And when I was asking him about having to be talented, because I used to admire what he did, and he said, Sharon, it's not talent, it's practice. I said, oh, no, you know, you have to have the talent. No, he said, it's practice. Well, I have to say, Uncle Bert, you were right. It absolutely is practice. Success is, is nothing more than consistent practice, too. And practice does make permanent. Practice is what uh, makes belief come to life. And here's something. The sooner you start, the sooner you hit your goal. Each day you practice, you make perfect possible. Okay? Each, each time. And mistakes, oh, the dreaded mistakes. We can't make mistakes. But mistakes show you what not to do the next time. So mistakes have a value. Here's the thing. You practice, analyze. Practice, scrutinize. Practice, adjust. Practice, inspect. And practice till you meet your goal. And think about this. Makeup is a skill. Hairstyling is a skill. Every surgeon, artist, bricklayer, baker, dentist, ballerina, musician, knitter, equestrian rider, and and yes, good makeup or hair artist, practice till they achieve their goal. And the good ones systematically reassess and keep adjusting when necessary. 
Okay. So, you know, it's, it's, it, it there's nothing, there's nothing more, um, uh, mis- mysterious about it than just practicing. So in summary, streamline your products and tools. Uh, as suggested on this page. Make sure that your tools are right for the job at hand. So having a good flat-edged angled brush that's really sharp is important, and I think too is, is, is good to have. And don't judge by cost. Judge by value. Does it do the job? And I have to say it again, selfies without beauty filters are a necessary tool in your practicing. Absolutely. Um, uh, uh, um, And uh, make sure your tools are right for the need, yes, and your selfies, and know your goal and set a time frame for your achievement. Um, Whether it's makeup, whether it's hair, whether it's a combination, whether it's learning more about the wardrobe designs that are best for you, And when you've got those skills honed and they've been redesigned and look really great, you feel comfortable with them, not more, not only comfortable, but you feel great about them. You feel great when you step out into the world. Um, That, that, that pays off big dividends in self-esteem. And when that's done, then take a look. Don't stop there. Take a look at how your voice uh, is heard by your audience, whether it's your grandchildren or it's a room of 10,000. What's your body language like? What are your facial expressions like? And this is where glorious videos that you can take on your smartphones will answer all those questions for you and help you immensely. There is always something uh, to improve on, and every uh, improvement fills your self-esteem treasure chest to the full and brimming. So, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, I, I, it's, it's just a question of, of trying to inspire...
can you hear me? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, dear. Somebody let me know how far back that went, if you don't mind, or if it just happened now. Um, I, 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 technical difficulties. I'll have to look into that. I think you can all hear me now. Uh, sound off there too. Oh, dear. Okay. No sound. Okay. Let me know if you're hearing sound now. No sound either. Trying to re lip read. Oh, dear. Can somebody please let me know if you have sound now? My, it indicates, okay, you say yes. All right. Ha. <sighs> so can you tell me, can somebody let me know where the sound went off? And then I will, um, I will endeavor to, uh, to backtrack for you. Uh, loud and clear. Good. Um, how far back did we go? Do you remember? Was it, uh, let me, let me just go back here a little bit. Simple product tools, etc. No sound. Again? Yes, there is sound. Sound? <laughs> you have to laugh because it isn't, it isn't, you know, there's no point in crying over spilt milk. You just, what, if there's a problem, then you just try to fix it at 11.13 a.m. Well, that's, uh, I'm not sure. That doesn't help me, but thank you. Wait a minute. People are saying no sound and some people are saying sound. Sound went off again? Where is this? Oh, my heavens. Are you hearing me? It's back on. You were suggesting a video is a good way to see what's happening. Thank you, Norma, um, to see what's happening. So I guess that would be under tools. Uh, Mercury's in retrograde again. It keeps going on and off. Okay. Well, okay. Back to, let me see, uh, to tools, it seems. Uh, okay. Um, let me, let me get there. Effectiveness. I think what I was saying was check this page for, for, um, the best, this page, this channel for the best tools and approaches to product and tools. Streamline, easy, effective. The trick with tools, and I think you need to add this in, is making use of selfies and video camera, okay? Uh, regarding the, I was finishing up regarding voice and dress. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, I'm just going to kind of fly by here and see if I've is see if I've got everything. We all get it that tools are important. The right tools, cost effective products are important. S selfies from your camera are important, and if, for help with 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 um, your game plan, make sure to use the playlists on this channel because I've broken them down to really help with with the things that you are uh, that you're trying to achieve. So if it's hair, there's a hairstyling playlist. If it's makeup, there's a makeup playlist, and then there's extensions playlist and that sort of thing. Uh, okay, uh, Patricia Morgan says it stopped after knowing your goals and setting a time frame. You said that all I have to say about that goals and time frame. Okay, uh, I'm not sure where that was. <laughs> I don't know if that was in the summary or if it was whatever. Oh, I think I know what the problem is too. I think I know what it is, but you're not interested in hearing it. So, okay. So I have a little bit of a mishmash, a little bit mixed up here. How about we just, um, I don't want to waste your time. I don't, I, I certainly don't want to do that. 
But I, th- I think the, the essence here is in, in creating an, a new you is taking stock of where you are now, using your, your video camera and your, uh, your um, f- smartphone selfies to, uh, to help you, okay? Um, that, that will tell you everything. Um, now, I'm just seeing that voice and dress was the thing, so maybe it wasn't that far back. But the thing is, uh, in summary, uh, once, you've, once you've honed your hair and your makeup uh, in a way that works well for you, and you've got your wardrobe thing going on, it's moving and grooving, looking to improve your voice, looking to improve your body language and your facial expression for no matter where you are, 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 are ways to keep moving forward and keep, and keep uh, honing, keep practiced. Because let's suppose you were a pianist and let's suppose you achieved what you were aiming for um, with respect to... Uh, I don't know, grade eight. I, 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 I wouldn't know exactly, but let's suppose, let's suppose you've even gotten, you know, quite successful as a pianist. If you don't practice your piano fairly regularly, you start to lose the skill. You really do. And I think I've said this before for myself with makeup, you know, and there's been a couple of, well, more than a couple of times in my life when things have been extremely difficult. And I've let go of myself. And I think it happens to a lot of us. Um, when, you, when you let go too much, when you, when you don't get back at it, let's say, whether it's makeup, whether it's piano, whether it's a surgeon, a dentist, whatever it is, or baking. If when you don't get back at it and kind of keep your skills up, you lose them. And it's a fallacy to think that I, I'll only wear makeup when I go out. Well, if that's the only time you've practiced, then when you go out, you won't be as happy with your end result as you would be if you did makeup at least once a week to keep you in check. And about every six months or maybe, I used to say every five years, take video of yourself, recite something, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Look into the camera lens and speak as if you were speaking to a friend. Then, you know, show your profiles, get a look at what's going on, and if you can get full, uh, a a full video of your full body, that's even better. And then assess it. Assess how you're coming across. See, see, because the camera, whether it's uh, moving or still, will reveal so much to you. And that's the way the world sees you. Not your mirror. Not your, not your makeup mirror. That is not the way the world sees you. Okay. So, it, it, it's it's just I'm trying to use analogies that that help us um, k- equate why practice is important with makeup. Oh, it's just makeup, you know, it, we, because we've worn makeup since we were kids, perhaps, or uh, you know, we we think that it's 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 not very much, and 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 of course they would have us believe, oh, just buy this lipstick and everything will be fine. Well, if your lips need correcting, it won't be fine, and. And again, like I said earlier, a little bit, a little bit of, of change of line, a little bit of change of weight can have a massive, big impact on your end result. Okay, so um, I think sound seems to be on and seems to be working well. So if anybody has uh, any, any uh, questions, please feel free to voice them. I'm just looking up here on your comments to see uh, if, if you have any. Okay, Patricia Morgan. It stopped at, oh, it stopped after uh, knowing your goals and setting a time frame. You said that all I have to say about that, and then the sound went off. Okay, 
I think I know what the problem is. See the little sparkly things? When they were coming down, I think what happened was because it's a movie overlay, it it interfered with the sound. Because when a movie is playing, I can't have sound. I think that's the problem. But do you care? Hell no. You're not you're not here and worried about my technical nonsense. Anyway, um, questions, anybody? I'm just looking up the list here to see if I can uh, see if anybody has any questions. Um, I'm not seeing any so far. So please post them. Ah, okay, here we go. Palladio, 747. Hi, Sharon. Uh, it's some of your previous YouTube videos. You have referred to MAC dupe eyeshadows. Could you share what brand as dupes since MAC shadows are expensive? Thanks, Palladio, 747. Um, I, I use dupes from my professional kit, and those aren't available to the public. So the thing is with the MAC eyeshadows, if you buy, if you buy them in the pans, I, be, they're, I believe they're seven or eight dollars, which is much cheaper than, um, you know, the, the, when they come in their tiny little compact, okay? I, I can't quite remember the price. I think it's 18 or whatever. So I would buy them in the pans and then put the pans into a palette. It's worth investing in a palette so that you can put everything there. Um, and here we have my trusty little thing again. Whoops. All those pans, they're all pans. Now these are the dual finish powders and you can get pans if you call Burrell and request pans. Otherwise, they'll send compacts. But the rest are blushes and eyeshadows that you just put in into one into one palette like this, and then it's easy. Uh, it's easy, easily accessible, and it's much cheaper. So I hope that that helps. Um, let me see if there's any other question. Uh, okay, no, that, that's that been answered. Uh, sorry about that. Um, ah, okay, now we're getting to the questions. Becky C. Sharon, any ideas on reducing the appearance of 11s, those frown lines between the brows? Are mine gone? When I frown, yes, you can see them. And again, I'm getting up close. And the closer I get, the more you can see my wrinkles and that sort of thing. A little bit further back, you won't get rid of them, uh, Becky. But the dual finish powder, and I know that you didn't ask to get rid of them, you just wanted to, uh, to reduce the appearance. The dual finish powder will do that beautifully for you. Uh, because the dual finish powder evens out your pores and it, and it, and it re reduces uh, the, the appearance it doesn't get rid of them or anything, and you can still see them, but it makes them look cared for, and it gives them all one color. Because if you if you were to look really, really close at, at let's say, the 11s, if you look really, really close, I mean micros microscopically close, you would see that if we if we do a cross section, you see it it, it has a, a curve like this. If you did a cross section of a, of of a line, it dips down and it goes like this. Okay, what the powder does is it helps to kind of and in and when it's in the very bottom of the line, it's darker, just lighting. Okay, the top of the line is lighter, underneath is darker. So when you put the powder on, it helps to even out the lightness across. Does that make sense? So just, it, it helps to brighten it up and it does reduce it. The dual finish powder, Burrell is my number one Mac Studio Fix uh, powder foundation is my number two. That's all, that's all I wear and that's all I recommend. I hope that helps answer your question. Um, Okay, good. Uh, Lorraine Marquettis says, good question, Becky. I have those as well. Kelly Cooksey says, I have those as well. We, guess what? We all have them. 
Uh, okay, Kelly Cooksey. Sharon, which color do you use on your brows? I've always thought you used scene or print, but when I use them, they appear much darker than yours. I do use a print dupe, honestly. I can make these look so much darker. The The trick is, um, is to only dip your brush in, just dip it into the product, and then apply it until there's nothing left on the brush. Dip back in, apply lightly till there's nothing left on the brush. Use a lighter hand and only dip once. I could, let me see, maybe, should I do that for you right now to demonstrate? Let me get my handy little brush here. Now this is going to be really tricky, of course, on a and, yes, I hear comments about my mirror all the time. Everything looks so good, and then you bring out this lousy mirror. Well, here's the thing. I use it also as a testament to just because it's old, it's marked, it has seen life, doesn't mean it isn't useful. So it's kind of an analogy for me, a reminder that growing older is, um, doesn't mean I still don't have some use to offer the world. Okay, so here's my brush, and here's, where is it? Here's the powder. So I'm going to dip. Let me see if I can, so. that's all. Now I'm going to make these, let me see if I can do this so you can see. See how dark that is? Same product, exactly, but with a with a with a, a darker hand. Standing back, see the difference? Oh, what I do for you guys. Just let me get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing here. You see the difference that that makes? It's all in how much powder you put on the brush and and how you I could make it darker still, but I really don't want to go there. I hope that that answers, whoops, I'll get it later. That answers your question okay, Kelly. Um, let's see. Can't wait to watch this from the start, Frida. <laughs> Good. Um, uh, okay, so uh, Tribbles, I'm looking for a clear red lipstick. I have Maybelline C15, but would like something a little lighter. First of all, Tribbles, um, do you have gray hair or white hair or salt and pepper hair? Are you over 45? Because as we age, when we get past 45 and especially 50, not only does our hair color change if we're, if we're choosing to embrace our gray hair, but our, our eyebrows are, and our lash line diminish greatly in weight, in color, in strength, okay? And and when that when those when that aspect disappears, that makes a big big difference with how um, how we've lost our contrast. So you want to get not just a lighter lip or a clear red. You want a substantial red. For those that are on the going gray and loving it page, the women who have been showing. How you know, as they move along, they try some things, put up a selfie, we you know, um, assess it, and that sort of thing. Every single one of them who has embraced using a more intense lip color, whether it's pink or red or into the brown tones or whatever, when I say intense, I don't mean like you see the lips first. No, 
I mean, something like this that has, um, it's gradiated, so you've got a 3D look about it. So it's not too heavy, but you still have the weight behind it. Every single one of them, their lips look fantastic. So I'm going to really encourage you, Tribbles, to try, <clears throat> excuse me, the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay. Okay, and take a look at... Um, in the live streams, the previous live streams, I have one there on uh, lip colors or lipstick and how you can use the Maybelline like a stain if you want, but it'll still give you some some bulk or some, some intensity. Does that make sense? I hope that answers your question okay. Elaine, uh-oh, no sound again. What? What? It's saying that there's sound. Let me try something else. Oh. Tell me if that works, okay? I've just changed things again. Sound is fine. Okay. Sorry, gang. I, I don't I don't know what's going on. Uh, I have sound. I have sound. Okay. What color lipstick are you? Oh, let me see. Pull this up, Marianne. What color lipstick are you wearing today? What color do you recommend for light, warm, gold, blonde hair? Wig color. Um, 70 next month. Okay, Mary Ellen. I'm wearing Maybelline number 25, which is Flame. I wear this a lot. And I'm wearing the 150 highlight, which is warm, over top in the in the center. Uh, I think I think flame is a fantastic red for most people. Uh, I, I I don't know um, I don't know of a red that I like better actually. And I love the fact that it stays on; it doesn't bleed, feather, or transfer. Um, and it's not so much about the blonde. You can, as a blonde, you know what? Here's the thing, ladies. It doesn't matter what your hair color is. Everybody just about can wear just about every color. And that's including in wardrobe too. We can lean towards the warms. We can lean towards the cools. That's why I like to keep it more in the neutral so that, like, I like pinks that have a brown in them. Because if they're too blue, they don't look good on anybody, in my opinion. But if the pink has a bit of brown in it, then it can go either way. That's why I love the Perpetual Plum, because it's a warm brown, okay? Uh, and with your reds, the thing I love about the this flame red is that it's a neutral red. So if I, with this uh, 150 Timeless Toffee over top, it gives it a slight warm look. If I wanted it to be more of a cool red, I would add 110 highlight over top because it's a pink based. So don't get too caught up in seasonal colors and all and and uh, you know hair color and that sort of thing. When I was first going gray, some of the misinformation out there said that I had to go, you had to get rid of all your browns and your warms and everything else and just stick with, um, just stick with your, what do you call it? Your, uh, yeah, your cools. Big mistake. Big mistake. Forever Chestnut number 115 with Maybelline is kind of a warm color. It's a warm berry. And it looks good on everybody. On everybody. So th think about that, Mary Ellen. Check, check the product uh, listing of the, my favorite colors. And they're, they're picked for those very reasons that I just talked about. So I hope that helps. Uh, sound is fine. Clear. Sound is fine. Okay, I have sound. Great, 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 great. Okay, how often do you, uh, Sydney, how often do you apply the balm with the May, Maybelline 24? Me personally, I, I only apply it 
when I put it on, like, a, you know, about a 30 seconds after I've put it on. Um, before I eat, if I know I'm going to be eating something oily, uh, you know, like uh, 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 oil and vinegar salad dressing or chicken wings or something like that, it will definitely break down inside here, okay? It will break down. Even coffee will do that because, you know, there's the coffee can be a bit oily. So what I do, if you, before you eat, add a little bit more balm. And the thing is, you don't need a mirror. You can just, you know, just put it on without a mirror. You know where your lips are. And if you go over your lips, it won't matter because it's not going to transfer the lipstick outside. So put it on before you eat. And, um, and I... It, I find that I only, that's the only time I, I, I use it is when I first put it on. So, but everybody is a little bit different. They're just a little bit different. So, um, and now what happens if, if I eating, if I, if I eating, try speaking right. Um, boy, nothing's going right today, is it? I'm going to show you a little example of something. I'm going to have another sip of my coffee because... Now, because I've been drinking coffee this morning, let me just, you can see, see what this is wearing down a little bit here? Well, watch this. I'm going to take the 25 and always wipe off any excess, okay? That's how, and I'm not even going to really use a mirror. Touch the bottom. And I see there's still a little. That's all I need to do. Just touch up or you can touch up with the highlighter. See how, see how easy that is. And now I'll just. I'm done for the rest of the day. Well, unless I have more coffee, maybe. But you just see what I mean? The thing and the reason I highly recommend these products, though, is for the fact that the, the lip color will break down on the inside, but it will not bleed, it will not feather, it will not transfer. So that's a long-winded answer to your question. I hope that that helps. And Char Wilcox, I wear, I heard where red, where I heard where colors that match the inside of your lips. Yes, uh, I've, I've heard that too, Char. And um, it's just another one of those myths to ignore. At this stage, um, let's see, inside of the if I'm going to match that, I'm going to look, I'm going to look dull and tired more than usual okay so just just ignore that um okay tribbles testing to see if i can post Ign oh so you said to ignore it okay sorry okay uh let's see moving along uh shara says i got eight colors from santa the ones you recommended yippee ki yo ki yay that's wonderful Bravo. Fun. Annie Lee, Sharon, mascara looks harsh on my aging face. I'm not sure if I can do false lashes. Um, well, false lashes will be stronger. They have, like, I have them on today. I, I, I wear them whenever, mostly whenever I'm on camera, unless I'm, you know, making a point about lashes. But they, you know what, they're faster and they're easier. However, for those that find they have difficulty with false lashes, I recommend curling your, your, uh, or not curling, heating your lash curler under hot water first, curl your lashes and use a brown black mascara and the kind of mascara to use because as we age, our eyes become more sensitive is a tube mascara. Now, my favorite is Blink used to be called Kiss Me, but it's now Blink. And L'Oreal Infallible, I believe, has one with a, a primer. Now, I've heard various reports about that. Some people love it. Some people don't. 
Why the tube mascara? Because it doesn't run uh, it, it, or, it, or melt or anything like that yet. You can wash it off simply and easily with any makeup remover. It, it comes off great. And when you curl your lashes, it, because it dries, it tends to stay curled more than other mascaras that aren't like that. And with older eyes, our lashes become more fragile. So we want mascara that treats them, you know, nice and nice and warm, like cares for them. So the tube mascara is the way to go. And do not wear waterproof mascara on a regular basis. It's not, they're not good f for, for the lashes. So I hope that that answers your question. Um, let's see, uh, Patricia Rodella. I, I tried the latex duo and couldn't get it off very easily. Now, if you're talking latex free is hard to get off. Latex free is hard to get off. The regular latex duo uh, comes off very easily. When you pull off your lash, then you can just grab the glue and peel it right off. So you you may be getting those mixed up. And if it's the if it's the um, latex free lash glue, yeah, it's really hard to get off. Try using a coconut oil or Vaseline. Well, coconut oil did a pretty good job when I was experimenting with it. It's great if you're going to a wedding or you're going to be at an event or a funeral or something where there's going to be a lot of tears of joy or sadness, whatever, and your eyes are going to be wet a lot and you're going to be wiping them, then then that that uh, glue will, will hold a little better. However... If you practice putting on your lashes like I recommend with the regular duo glue, they will they will wear just as well. I hope that answers your question. Um, Kay Goodwin, hi, hello from Australia. I have a scar on my forehead from having shingles. What color concealer can I use to cover it? Um, Kay, whatever color the skin is next to your scar. That's the color you want to go for, okay? Just just match it, and then that will take care of anything. No need to uh, to get a different color. Not not if it's on your forehead. No, just the same color as the skin next to it. Hope that helps. Okay, triples uh, going out to buy number twenty five. I also like the one ten with the. Uh, 15 as an overlay. Yes, there's all kinds of ways of customizing your own colors. Uh, all right, share. Sorry to play dumb, but what is fiber mascara? It's not a dumb question. Fiber mascara is mascara that has fibers in it. Uh, it um, I don't recommend it, especially for sensitive eyes, because uh, fibers can get in into the into the eye a little bit I, I and you know what it's a lot of work and a lot of nonsense for nothing seriously just follow the recommended and, and you know what you can you can if you put your eyeshadow liner on correctly uh, you can get by with very little mascara very little and if you check out my senior seniors makeup where I don't I don't wear any mascara at all I just use actually the gel liner that I put in the upper waterline I just go over my lashes with that just to change the color because my lashes are gray like my hair well not quite as gray they're dull let me put it that way they're dull they have no color no texture anything so when I add a little bit of gel it just gives them a hint of color but you know there's there's lots of ways of doing it if you apply the the eye sh that's why I like eyeshadow too as an eyeliner because you can make it thicker thinner blend it make it make it make it uh, more defined softer whatever I hope that that helps um, Let's see. Lori says, I have um, allergies. 
I have been patch tested for, the products you recommend I can use, but lashes and mascara are a no-go. If I do everything else you recommend as far as makeup, will that look okay? Absolutely. And that, like I was just saying, Lori, if, if, you, if you have allergies, I'm assuming that they're the, yeah, the lashes and mascara. So, just um, when you're when you're if the eyeshadow, a prob- it doesn't seem to be a problem. So when you're when you're putting on your eyeshadow, then just take the brush and go over your lashes. If the lashes are 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 dull like mine, if there's if they've still got their strength and their color, you should be okay. And that's where playing around and taking a selfie. And this is where it really counts, ladies, is at the end here. And and keeping it a little bit soft is the best look for most people that are over 21, okay? And and notice how it, it, it does this. I tend to bring it out to the side. Again, as I said before, as we age, our eyes become rounder. So when we bring our product out to the side, it helps to bring back a, a more architecturally sound look. Is I hope that that helps. Uh, share. I don't understand tube mascara. Okay. Um, I'm sure that there's, there's videos about it. What it is, is when you apply the mascara, it wraps around each hair, uh, e- e- each lash, I should say, individually. Okay. And when you take, when, so when you take them off, they slide off. They slide off the lash when, when you're removing them. Um, there's pictures of it. Uh, in, in Ms. Google, uh, you know, uh, if you just say tube mascara and, and you can see images of, of how it looks on the individual eye. Hope that answers your question. Um, uh, in Seattle home, not sure what you mean about tube mascara. Aren't they all in tubes? <laughs> you know what? That's a good question. <laughs> They wrap around your lash so that they're like a tube over top of your lash. And you're right. All mascaras come in tubes, except back in the early days, like the 30s and the 40s, mascara came as a, as a, in, in a little package, like, well, you can't see, but a little, and it came with a brush and they used to wet it, run it along this it looked like a, a, a hardened eyeshadow, and they would put it on that way. So the original mascaras didn't come in a tube, but that's a good question. Um, let's see what we have here. Uh, Norma Comer. I went to lash extensions a few years ago. I was having problems with shadows and mascara. The extensions bring up my eyes without need for a lot of other product. Well, uh if it worked for you, that's great. But lash extensions are expensive. And I've seen women where one or two have dropped out and they're going to be getting them, you know, put back in or the, you know, new ones added in a couple of weeks. Meanwhile, they're walking around with two or three of the lashes gone. The other thing is you can't clean your eyes with any oil free or any oil uh, makeup remover. It's a lot of maintenance and a lot of care and a lot of expense. Um, and what I have found is that lash extensions far too often are far too long. It's one thing to have longer lashes, but when they get too long, they look silly, especially for our age group. It does. It just doesn't work as well. When you're young, you can get away with all kinds of things, but but not this. But if they're working for you, that's that's great. Um, Patricia, what do you think of Palladio Dual Powder at Sally's? I wasn't real happy with it. Uh, I I I'm not a big fan. I used to recommend it uh, because uh, Patricia, because other women ha- had had found it and that it was it was a, a good price point, and and they really liked the color. But it's a rice based product, whereas the ones I recommend are a mineral based, and they they are much superior. So I've I don't recommend Palladio anymore. Uh, okay, Cher Wilcox. Blink is what you used. Yes, I, I, I 
when I wear mascara, that's the the tube mascara. That's what I wear. Uh, let me see. Uh, Marie Angela, uh, she said she wasn't happy with the Palladio either. Yes. And another reason I stopped recommending it was Palladio changed their color formulation. And uh, it threw a lot of people off, and um, they they were very unhappy with what they did with the color changing. You know what you know what that's like when you you find me find a lipstick that you like. Oh, what happens? They change the formulation, or they take it off the counters, or whatever. It happens all. And why is that? Because we'll we'll buy maybe um, two or three or four lipsticks before we get the one we like again. And, and and where does all that money go? Ka-ching, ka-ching, into corporate head office. Um, okay, Patricia Rodella. Uh, what about magnetic lashes? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. No. First of all, having that metal close to your eyes like that, I really highly question it. What would happen if... You had an accident or you hit something or something banged you. You've got that metal really close to your eye. So I, I don't think that's a good idea. Plus, the application method is really difficult. And when all is said and done, the ends stick out away from the, uh, away from the eyelid. So I, I, I wouldn't go there. Uh, let's see. Biggie Heart, I remember that kind of mascara. My mom used it. Yes, most of our mothers uh, and or grandmothers used it. That's for sure. Uh, tube mascara, Margaret Farquhar, is, a, is, 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 is in a tube. It wraps around your, um, it, it, it just wraps around the individual lashes. And other people are remembering that their mothers wore it too. Linda Gaber, thank you for pointing out tube mascara. I had never heard of it. Just Googled it. We'll buy that next time. Good. Uh, yeah, tube mascara is, um, like I said, blink or um, L'Oreal Infallible, I believe, is making it uh, now, too. And, and, and some people are quite happy with that. Uh, and, it, and Cher says you can order Blink for about $20 online. Kind of pricey. Well, guess what? I pay $30 for it. Uh, like I've said, I am not sponsored by anybody. I make no money. I'm given no product, nothing. I buy it. But I buy quality, and that, to me, doesn't have a have a price tag on it it could be very cheap like some of the crown brushes can be like like three to five bucks very good value or the blink mascara which is 30 that i pay for here in canada uh you know it's what it's it's if the tool is right and it does the job that's the number one thing to consider uh yeah i just uh cynthia ava i just suggested um either Blink or, um, or uh, L'Oreal Infallible. Uh, Biggie Heart, my daughter tattooed her eyebrows. She, uh, she'll regret it later. She may well do. Uh, depends on what color and how they, how they fade. I have to say that there's a lot of women, uh, mothers of the brides, when I had my bridal company, that I used to see who had dark hair and they got their eyebrows tattooed a um, dark. What was happening was when they were fading, they were fading into a blue color. So as we age though, I think with our changing faces, microblading um, maybe, excuse me, maybe a better alternative because it doesn't last very long, excuse me, but it it's also very expensive. And again, I'm going to talk about this in the video that I'm going to be bringing up in, in the next few weeks. It takes me, well, you saw when I, when I colored this darker one, right? And for those that have just joined, no, it's not your imagination. One is lighter, one is darker. When, um, what was I, what was I going to say?
That's part of the process of aging and <laughs> forgetting every now and again. You ever go into, you go, oh, you think, oh, I need to get, you walk into the room and you get there, you think, what am I here for? So, some, and sometimes that's good. Sometimes it's good not to remember certain things in life, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope that answered the question. Okay, let's see. Tribbles, I started using the teas last spring and love how my lashes look. Uh, it, it, it does make the lids a little darker, but I use a little more concealer for the record. I'm 77. Okay, well, that's interesting. I have been using Envy that my sister gave me. I Envy. And... Um, I've done everything that, that I was supposed to do. My lashes are a little bit longer and just a tiny bit thicker, but I still have two bald spots. I have a bald spot on each eye where it's just age. They've just come out. Uh, and, 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 and when I'm not days that I, if I'm going out anywhere and days that I, I'm not going to be wearing mascara or anything, I will still put a little bit of gel pencil liner right where that bald spot is so that it doesn't show. Um, ophthalmologists do not recommend uh, Latisse and things of that nature. And my sister and I had a long talk about that, but I thought, okay, I'll try it anyway. I'm, for me, not impressed particularly. It does make a bit of a difference, but not enough for the cost point. And for the fact that I wear false lashes anyway, if I want to have some drama, um, you know, it's a little bit different for everybody. So if it works for you, fabulous. But um, really consider, really research and really think about it. Okay. Um, Nancy Huff, Huff, Huffaker, uh, what can I do to minimize pores? What skin care would you recommend? I'm 71 years young and I'm not really using any products now. Nancy, dual finish powder by either Burrell or the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. Please go on to my live stream where I've got a live stream playlist where I've got, and I time coded these two ladies. I've got a, um, what? A section there on foundation. And I've also done another foundation that's in the Play, the beauty playlist that will show you, you know, the difference that I show a before and after picture of myself. It's the best way to, 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 to cover over, to, to help, um, help to minimize and help to, um, even out skin tone and, um, make the skin look cared for. Hope that answers your question. Lynn Hall, what eyebrow color do you recommend for gray silver hair? I recommend the MAC eyeshadow print for darker, from for, for, for medium to darker brows, and the scene if you if you if you have lighter brows, if you're going that route. Um, and I with the scene for some that are quite and I'm I you I think a scene for people who have white hair and have a lot of whiteness. I'm, I've still got, you know, I'm still got some darkness in my gray, so I use the print. Those are the best. And taking a look at your profile, I, uh, and it's, it's, it's difficult to tell when it's small like this, but I would, I still think the print would probably work for you. Print or scene. That's all you need. Okay. And Mary Angel, what about castor oil on your eyebrows? Well, some say it works, some say it doesn't. I say just be better to put your energy into learning the skill of the right eyebrow shape for you. And I have to tell you, it takes maybe a minute to a minute and a half to do my brows. That's all. Why is it so fast? Because I'm so practiced at it. Uh, it, it, you know, that's, that's all that, um, that's all that it is. Uh, let me see, uh, Sherry Anderson, cosmetics tubing mascara is really good as well. Uh, I don't know if that's a name brand, if it is, uh, fine, but, uh, I haven't heard of it. So, um, you know, like I said, I, I go with what I've heard, what I've used and lots of reporting to me from people ha who have been using. I don't rely on anything else other than real life experiences. 
Okay, Deborah Ward, I have a lot of lip lines. What can I do? Moisturize your face. Make sure that it's really, really clean at night. Cleanse your face really well. And I've got, you know, another video on that. And 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 use a good moisturizing uh, uh, cream, serum, whatever. Um, I've got, look at, look at, I've got lines too. See? You can see them. They're not so prominent because I use, I also like to use Vaseline when I'm cleaning off this lip color. It comes off pretty easy with Vaseline and also a Vaseline to remove eye, um, uh, uh, you know, your eyeshadows and, and gel liner. And the vas and what's left over of, with the Vaseline is, is great for, uh, you know, keeping, keeping the lips from being dry because it's dryness that causes uh, uh, lines. So do that, get, and, and, you know, use an emollient uh, moisturizer for the evening, but not for daytime if you're wearing a, a lip color. Hope that helps. Um, Cher Wilcox, yes, MAC print, that's the color. Uh, and here we have Cynthia Ava. Did you mean L'Oreal Voluminous? I can't find the other you mentioned. No, I loved Voluminous when it was uh, in. I used it a lot on my um, uh, TV clients. Um, it was. It's a pretty good product, but it's 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 a, it's a tube mascara, L'Oreal Infallible Tube Mascara. Ch uh, 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 make sure you put the word tube mascara in there, and I think that you'll have better luck finding it. Um, And let me see. Lynn Hall says Thrive Cosmetics is online only and vegan. You know what, ladies? I don't. I don't go along with. Pardon me. I don't go along necessarily with these organics and these vegans and all that sort of stuff. Because listen to this. It's important. Makeup requires ingredients for shelf life. Okay. When you're using when you're using uh, products that say that they're vegan and organic, oftentimes they're not. There may be just a little bit, but um, but there um, it, it requires shelf life. And and the thing is, I'm the only thing. The only thing that is anything other than powder that I recommend is the Maybelline lip color, and the mascara for those who want to wear mascara. So you know anything else. I don't know. I just, just be wary. Just be wary. Just be wary. Okay. Uh, Biggie Heart. I'm 65 and still have very oily skin. Should I still moisturize? Well, listen, if you're 65, how does your skin look? Take a selfie and do an assessment. Does your skin look oily or does it look fresh or does it, you know, when you cleanse it, um, you could maybe use a, 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 a moisturizing lotion, not a, not a cream uh, or an emollient uh, cream at all. Oh, I've got an itchy nose this morning. Yikes. Sorry, guys. Mm. But if you use just a moisturizing lotion, that may be the answer. And then take a selfie and see what you think, okay? Uh, let me see. Kay Goodwin, I have deep lines going down to my chin. I look like a puppet. <laughs> How can I cover them? Same way. Dual finish powder foundation. Look, we all have, you know, we all have stuff. If you want to, if I were to pull out my magnifying mirror, which I do, and study my face right now, when I do this, you can't see it necessarily, but I can see in my magnifying mirror lines, pores, wrinkles. Oh, and my 11Zs are... Uh, quite prominent. But is the world looking at you in a mag from a magnifying glass perspective? If anybody is this close to you that isn't an intimate, step away or have them step away, okay? The world's not the world's not going to the world's not going to see that. The trick is to get get the right line. Don't concentrate on on lines and wrinkles and pores. Oh my. Do not concentrate on that. Concentrate first on Proper eyebrow shaping, strengthened lash line, even skin tone, and corrected lips. Stand back, take a selfie, assess. 
I guarantee you that when you get the rest of this going on and, and a good hairstyle for you, that those other things will become negligible. They won't be important. Does that make any sense? I've got to find an analogy for this. But I mean, I'm a, I'm a good example. I'm 72. I've got lines and wrinkles and pores. Oh, my. And when I get up really close, you can see them. But right now, I'm probably uh, a foot from my computer. I don't know if that helps at all, but I don't know. The thing is, I'm happy with the overall look, and that's what's important. And, and, and like I said, the dual finish powder, that's your best friend. That's your best friend. Uh, and somebody says, uh, let me see, Margaret says what? Sharon, your fingernails look lovely. Oh, thank you. Well, you know what I do? I keep them short and I do my own um, shellac. I do my own. I save myself a fair bit of money. I buy the base and I buy just the pearly pink because I think that having uh, nails that are clean clear look best and they don't detract they don't detract from anything especially when i'm i'm demoing things if i've got red nails or whatever in there then it detracts from what the focus is okay so um so i i do that and and i i spend 90 dollars once a year for the base the pearly pink i think it is or something like that and the top coat and I do my nails about every 12 days. That's a good savings, 90 bucks. Whereas it costs me, what, $40? And this is in Canadian dollars. I think it's 40, 35 or 40, something like that, every couple of weeks. So that's the standard saving. And if I have a problem, if one of them, you know, peels or whatever, I can fix it. And here's a trick I use too. If one of these nails does peel, I use... And I have it right here in my desk. The Revlon Color Stay Clear, and I I take off the peeling, you know, sand it down a bit, and just put this over top until I can get to it because it dries like that. So that's a little thing. And uh, Elaine Smith, hi Elaine, nice to see you here. Uh, a, a neat cam buddy, <laughs> you look fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Elaine. Um, uh, Cher Wilcox, I've been with Sharon now for over a year, and she had actually helped me have more self-confidence. Thank you, Cher, or Char. I'm sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Yes, self-confidence, healthy self-confidence, healthy self-esteem comes from putting your best foot, face, and frock forward. And how do you get your best? Using the right tools, the right product, and practicing the power of three will certainly get you there. Okay, um, let's see. Cynthia Ava, I have my hands are getting very wrinkly and old looking. What can I do or suggest? What can you suggest for that? Well, here's an example of a 72, oops, a 72 year old man. Wrinkly? Yeah. I just put on moisturizer. Here's a little trick that helps. If you combine a facial scrub, uh, an emollient uh, hand lotion, uh, and a little bit of soap or gel soap, combine them all together, wet your hands, combine them all together, and then wash your hands, you will love the end result. Your hands will feel so soft and look so wonderful. So that's a facial scrub, uh, an emol uh, 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 um, what's it called? A hand lotion <laughs> and a gel soap of any kind. Mix it all together and that will really help. Um, and Marilyn Poitus, I love Burrell. It does not it, it does not collect in my deep wrinkles like other foundations. Know what I mean? Yep. Yep, I do. Yeah, I love the Burrell. It is the best, no doubt about it. 
It's pronounced Eileen. Thank you, Eileen. I stand corrected. <laughs> okay, ladies. Uh, it seems like that, you know we we don't have um, we don't have any more questions, and we're getting past uh, you know uh, the time. So I just. And remember to subscribe to the channel, okay? Because I'm not, I'm not, um, what do you call it, um, monetized. Uh, I make no money. I get no benefit, nothing. So that would help to, sh to share the, the, spread the word with your friends to join this channel. And for those of you who know my advocacy work in um, girls and women's uh, rights, uh, sexual abuse, eradication, uh, things of that nature, come join me on my advocacy channel. And remember to like, share, and su subscribe, like I said. Now, for those looking uh, for more information on my Facebook page, uh, this is my public page, Sharon Danley Beauty. And for more in-depth discussion about aging uh, with strength, style, and grace and embracing your gray hair, um, go to my Going Gray uh, and Loving It page, which is closed. And for a pay it forward, make better. Uh, you can go to either page and request one. Uh, you just put up your photo and uh, I take you through the Photoshop spa and produce a picture for you that, uh, you know, and after uh, with instructions on how to achieve the look. The only thing I ask for, and I'm not asking for payment for this, the only thing I ask for is that you pay it forward with your own time, talent, or treasure to someone in your part of the world that's in need, that needs a helping hand in my daughter Andrea Main's name. Okay, so for this week's Well, that's it, ladies. Uh, thank you very, very much for joining me today for a good conversation. And I apologize for the problems with the sound. I'll have to speak to Aileen and some of the gang at Ecamm e to uh, figure out what I'm doing wrong here or, or what I did. And I, th I think I've got the problem solved for next time. But uh, sorry for about any inconvenience. Uh, and remember, uh, this channel uh, is, is it illuminates the importance of simplicity, strength, style, and with a well-honed skills and a healthy relationship with yourself that's based on love and logic and the greater good, grace always simply emerges. So thanks for joining me today. As always, it's been fun. See you next, uh, next time, uh, next week. I'm going to be putting a video out uh, with a former student who's showing how she has practiced uh, her uh, what she was taught earlier on, and she'll will she's going to show us doing her makeup. Somebody else doing makeup instead of me. So in the meantime, please take good care of yourself, your loved ones, and the world around you. We'll chat again in the next couple of weeks. Mwah. <laughs>